incident that happened uh, a few months back a couple of months back it was on a saturday and we had just finished the retreats in divine and the retreats finished on friday on saturday it was a day free so i decided i would go home for a visit and as i was driving home i had my earphones on so that if at all i get a phone call i don't have to hold the mobile in my hand i had the earphones on and one of my earphones one of the phones was inside of the ear the other one was left free so that i could hear all the honking that is going on on indian roads that we get free of charge and as i made my journey i made my journey i, re- I reached home after reaching home i spent my time at home i finished my visit home and i came back when i came back i realized that the earphone that i had one of the earphones nowadays with all these earphones that you get you also get a rubber cap on top of it i don't know if you are aware of it most of these earphones will have a rubber cap on top and these rubber caps the company says that they are custom made you know to fit your ears so you'll get around three or four choices inside your package if you have your mobile phone inside your package you'll get three or four of these rubber caps and they say it is custom made but i don't know who it's custom made for because it doesn't seem to fit in anyone's ear the biggest ones can slip into the ear of an elephant as well but i had this rubber cap that was right fitting for my ear and when i came back from home i realized that the rubber cap was missing and so i was very disappointed because my inverted commas the custom made rubber cap went missing and the one i had was quite costly and so i was sure that i would not get a replacement for it so i started getting worried about it i called back home and i told my mother i've lost the rubber cap of my earphone try and find it in the house or outside when i've got out of the car it should have been there my mother had no clue what this rubber cap is so she asked me for a description she asked me what is this thing as it's a small little colorless object that you will find it's made of rubber and she told me if it's colorless i don't know if i'll even get to see it i said i don't want any excuse you search that whole place i want my rubber cap my poor mother went around searching for the rubber cap after around an hour or so she called me up and she said i'm sorry i cannot find it i said your eyes have a problem you search for it and then you call me up this is the benefit of being a priest and being a son who is or, or, or being a son of a mother who loves priest and so she sat around she walked around she combed the whole area to find that silly rubber cap of mine ultimately she called back once again and she said the rubber cap is not there it's missing i was very disappointed and then she gave me a hundred sorries i don't know what she had to say sorry for but she felt very sad for her son because she must have thought that rubber cap it is very integral to my priesthood so she kept telling me i'm very sorry that you lost it i'm very sorry that you lost it and i wanted to put the blame on someone so i started putting the blame on my visit home on coming home and that's why i lost it and i was i was acting like a very cranky child anyway after all that i resigned myself to the fact that i've lost that very valuable rubber cap of my earphone a few a, a week later i was um a few days later i was on my treadmill i was doing my exercise on my treadmill uh, we priests though we don't look like we do any kind of exercise we do exercise in between and i was on my treadmill and every time i'm on my treadmill i have the habit of uh, i don't use the treadmill just to lose weight for the shapeless body of mine but i also use it at times i find it a very beautiful moment to pray and so i use i use my mobile i sit and listen to gospel music or to talks using the the earphones and so when i went stood on my treadmill to put that earphone in that is when i realized my rubber cap is missing so again in my mind i was very upset that the rubber cap is missing my custom made rubber cap is missing 
the other phone the the other side of it had the rubber cap on so i pushed it into my ear i started listening to gospel music and as i was listening i started entering into prayer and i started feeling very prompted to pray for people and i was closing my eyes as i was as i was walking on that treadmill and i was feeling so prompted to pray i was getting people's names i was getting their faces i was getting their situations and i went into very deep prayer and, and at the same time i was i was also doing my treadmill so one thing i realized that you can do two things in one time so even when you walk to work you can pray as well so i was busy praying and i went into this intense prayer and i was enjoying those moments of prayer and then suddenly because of all that prayer excitement my hand hit my mobile phone and my mobile phone flew and it fell on the ground and it went right under the treadmill and the moment that happened i switched off the tre- treadmill and i was very disappointed i was very disappointed because i was so sure my mobile phone would be in pieces now and that is when all that anger started coming into me and i started thinking to myself here i'm doing something good by praying for people and this is what god gives me my mobile phone will be in pieces and i was very disappointed i switched off the treadmill i went looked under the treadmill to find the pieces of my mobile phone and that is when when i bent down to look at the at my phone they're lying just next to my phone was that rubber cap that went missing it was under the treadmill most probably a week back when i was doing my exercise it must have slipped off at some point or the other and i didn't even realize it but the rubber cap was sitting there under the treadmill i picked it up and very triumphantly i looked at my valuable rubber cap and that is when it suddenly struck me strange are the ways of the lord i don't know if he plays practical jokes on people but strange are the ways of the lord i kept complaining and felt very hurt thinking to myself i was doing something good and my mobile phone fell i was praying and definitely prayer is something positive even if god doesn't like me losing my or or losing my weight or he doesn't like me using the treadmill he should at least have liked me praying during the time i was exercising and i was feeling so upset that in spite of all that prayer god would allow that to happen the the phone falling down but the moment i saw that rubber cap next to that phone and i picked it up i thought to myself strange are the ways of the lord at that moment of pain at that moment of sorrow i would never understand what god had in store for me what plan god had in store for me i never understood god's will i never understood what god god had may be beautiful stored up for me at that moment when i was in pain my first reaction was to blame god and question god why am i going through this why is it that i'm struggling through this in spite of doing something good the brothers and sisters i think this is this is quite the story of our lives whenever at times we do good or we do something positive and we get a response that is negative we have this tendency to blame god and find fault in the situation and tell the lord lord after all the good that i've done after all the good that i've done after all the prayer that i've made why is it that i'm going through this situation why is it that you allow this to happen to me in spite of the good that i do why is it that you allow pain and sorrow to enter into my life in spite of the positivity that i am at it's a question that crops into our mind it's a pain that we all struggle through at different phases of our life praise the lord hallelujah but maybe we fail to realize that we are jumping the gun many a times we are acting too fast we are reacting too fast maybe midway through the script we think that everything is done we think that the sorrow that we are going through at that moment the pain that we are going through at that moment is the end but we fail to realize that that is not the end because god's script is not complete many a times we reach midway through the script 
and we complain about the sorrows and the pain that we are going through at that moment but we've got to come to an awareness that that is only midway through the script god's script is not complete as well the struggle that you're going through and the questions you come up in your mind that crop up in your mind why am i going through this suffering i've done good to others i've loved others i've prayed for others and in spite of that god is allowing this to happen to me maybe the moment we utter those words let us remember that the script is not complete there is still a twist in the story that is awaiting us a twist that maybe you and i don't see at that moment but a twist that will com- that will definitely happen one day because god's script is not yet complete praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in the bible we read about the israelites the israelites took that step out of egypt when they were in slavery god told moses lead the people of israel out of egypt and the israelites stepped out of egypt when the israelites stepped out of egypt mind you it was a very big step it was a very important step till that time though they were in slavery they had the comforts of being in a land wherein they are provided for maybe the food was not good maybe the food was not according to their liking but they had food there maybe the the, the place of stay was not perfect but they had a place to stay there and therefore even god told them to come out of egypt when the israelites took their step out of egypt it was a big step it was a positive step they were listening to god's voice they were answering to god's call and therefore at that moment they should be credited the people of israel should be credited to be able to be brave enough to come out of egypt to come out of the of the comforts they were in to go out into the wilderness following the voice of god but what happened after that when they were in the wilderness there were moments they stood in front of the red sea there were moments that they thirsted in the desert there were moments when the when the when they were in the wilderness and there was water in front of them but they couldn't put that water into their mouth because it was bitter there were moments in the wilderness when they had nothing to eat at that moment the israelites cried out why were they crying they were crying maybe telling god or rebelling against god telling him we trusted you we believed in you we stepped out of egypt and we did something positive by believing in you we thought that you would lead us on and so we stepped out we did something positive we listened to your voice we heard your call it was good but now lord in this wilderness in this pain in this sorrow why have you abandoned us that was the call or that was the cry of the israelites every moment of those 40 years in the wilderness that they spent they would always cry and question god lord why lord why is the red sea here and why are we trapped lord why are we in the wilderness and there is no water we trusted you we came out of egypt now why lord we trusted you we came out of egypt no bread to eat we trusted you we came out of egypt there is nothing to drink here and at that moment they thought to themselves that they were doomed it was the end and that is why time and again they would cry and say are we going to die here in the wilderness after listening to the voice of god after taking that positive step of responding to god's call is this what our life is going to be but dear brothers and sisters they failed to realize they were only midway through the script they were only midway through the script the promised land was god's script but they would look at the difficult situations they found themselves in and they thought that it was the end there was nothing positive for them to look forward to and that is why they cried that is why they rebelled that is why they questioned god many a times you and i are like the israelites maybe we've taken positive steps we've gone into prayer we pray for others we do good things for others we do acts of charity for others we care for others and at that moment maybe 
Maybe as a result of that prayer, that concern that we have for others, today you find yourself in a difficult situation. You find yourself in a painful situation. And you think to yourself, why Lord? After all the good I've done, after all the concern I've had for others, after all the acts of charity, why Lord am I going through this? But let us know one thing. The script is not complete as yet. God's script is not complete as yet because God's script will always have a beautiful ending to it. God's script will always have a beautiful ending to it. And maybe today you don't see the end. Maybe you don't see the end. You're still midway through. But know one thing. The script of God will always have a beautiful ending. In the life of Abraham, when God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, he told Abraham, Abraham, come out, leave your father's house. You come out with me. It was a challenge. Abraham went out with God. And God told Abraham, I will give you descendants. Descendants like are, are the sands on the beach, the grains of sands on the beach or the stars in the sky. I'm going to give you all those descendants. It didn't happen in one day. It didn't happen in two days. It didn't happen in one year. It didn't happen in two years. 25 years the man waited. Midway through the script, Abraham could have complained and thought to himself, Lord, where? I've come out trusting you. Now, Lord, where? Where is the descendant? Where is the child you talked about? But the script wasn't complete. It was midway. 25 years later, God's script would get completed in a way when Isaac was born. And there Abraham understood what God meant 25 years back. Dear brothers and sisters, maybe you and I are in the stage where God has, when, when we do positive things, when we do good things, and we've got back a lot of evil, we've got back a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow. But remember, the script is not complete. Maybe like Abraham, it could be 5 years, 10 years, 25 years, but the script is not complete. God's scripts are always positive. God's scripts will always end with blessings. And the script for your life that God has given you is going to end with a blessing. You might be going through confusion today. You might be going through that pain today, thinking to yourself, where do I stand now? Is this the end? I'm going through maybe pain in my family. Is this the end? My children have gone astray. They've gone into addictions. They've gone into alcohol. They've gone into drug addictions. They've walked away. They don't come into the church. Is this the end? My marriage is broken. I've gone through a divorce. Is this the end? I've lost my job. I have a lot of debts. Is this the end? Many a times in this position that you are in today and now in this situation that you are in today and now it could be a cry of your heart is this the end after all the good I've done after all the prayers I've offered is this the end dear brothers and sisters it can never be the end because the end will always be the Lord's call the end will always be a completion to God's script even when Abraham had Isaac, even after that it didn't end. Years later, God would tell Abraham, you bring Isaac and you sacrifice him to me. When Abraham walked with Isaac on to the land of Moriah, he was climbing up the mountain. In his mind again it would have come. Is this the end? My son's death. Is this the end? I will come down from this mountain all alone. Is this the end? But there was a twist to that script as well. Isaac would go on to live. Dear brothers and sisters, there will be a twist in our tale as well. There will be a twist in your life as well. Because God's script is not yet complete. God's plans will always be complete according to his will. And that is why we read in the Bible, very beautifully told in the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. The Lord says, my plan shall stand and I will accomplish all my purposes. 
my plan shall stand and i will accomplish all my purposes says god his plan for you is still there it's still ongoing it isn't completed with your sorrows your pain and your brokenness maybe you are midway through the script and that confuses you do not worry do not fear for the script is not yet complete god has something beautiful in store for you and you wait on it you wait for god to complete his script you wait for god to complete his script for his ways are strange his ways are different hallelujah 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 that is why we would read in psalm 38 in psalm 38 the lord would so beautifully say you wait on me it's a call that is given all the way in the bible wait on me and you will see my blessings in psalm 38 verse 15 the word would say but for you o lord i do wait it is thou o lord my god who will answer for you o lord i will wait for your plans to be completed i will wait for the script to be completed i will wait dear brothers and sisters wait for god's plan to be completed in your life maybe the wait is difficult for you maybe the wait is confusing for you but remember in the depths of your heart that wait will always be rewarded and honored that wait will always be rewarded and honored for what you've done in your life for the faithfulness that you've shown to god in your life that wait will always be honored and blessed by god because god's script is always positive god's scripts cannot be negative because he himself is not negative god's scripts cannot be broken because he himself is not broken god's scripts cannot end in evil because he himself is not evil his script will always be positive his script will always be blessed all we have to do is wait for the completion of god's script today you could be struggling in your own families in your own situations with your your own brokenness maybe the cry is there in your heart lord after all the good i've done after all the prayers i've said after all the retreats i've attended lord is this what i get the lord tells you my child wait on my script is yet to be completed and i will complete that script of mine hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 dear brothers and sisters hold on to the promises of the lord in the bible as we read in the gospel the lord said do not be anxious about your tomorrow do not be anxious about your tomorrow today's anxiety are more than enough do not be anxious about your tomorrow because your tomorrow is in god's hand and whatever is held in god's hand will always be a blessing it will always turn into a blessing and your life is held in god's hand it will turn into a blessing praise the lord let's all stand in his presence and let's close our eyes for a moment i want you to think about your life maybe you are at this moment going through a lot of pain and sorrow you're struggling with your brokenness and sadness offer it to god at this moment maybe you are confused you're confused thinking to yourself lord after all the good that i've done after all the prayers that i've offered Oh Jesus why is it that I'm still struggling why is it that I'm going through this pain and sorrow oh lord i don't understand the times your ways lord your ways are different and it's special and i don't understand it at times least of all that i'm going through my pain and sorrow i struggle to understand lord why i have to go through this i struggle to understand lord why my family has to go through this but lord i believe 
that the script is not complete. There's going to be a twist in the story. Lord, I'm waiting for the twist. I'm waiting for the completion of the script that is written by you. Lord, as long as the script of my life is lit, written by you, I know I have a chance. I know that something positive is going to come out of it. Oh, blessed Lord, I leave the script of my life into your hands. Lord Jesus, bring about the twist from what is happening now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.